So this issue of uh, artificial intelligence taking away jobs, everybody talks about it and uh, I want to look at it from a very different perspective, talking about two examples from different industries and driving some conclusions on what I believe is really an important trend, what I call argumented intelligence. I was reading uh, my, I'd say probably my 15th book in uh, uh, artificial intelligence. This is a book on uh, artificial intelligence and medicine. I've read three, I believe, so far. And uh, this one is slightly different than other ones. What's answering the question, uh, will doctors go away and artificial intelligence will be basically overtaking the medicine field? What they were talking about is basically for these very repetitive jobs where the primary skill is to understand whether or not there is a signature of some kind of disease in a picture, the machine might actually do it more precisely eventually than human beings and uh, doesn't need to rest, um, it doesn't have limitations in terms of how quickly it can do. So now I may say, okay, this is a case where an advanced job, the jobs that maybe pays very well, uh, could be just taken away from machine altogether. And now I was thinking of a totally different example that uh, I just came across recently. And I remember a couple of years ago, two or three years ago, I was preparing presentations. Now preparing presentations with PowerPoint is something that I think every single person on this planet has done. And, and if you haven't, sooner or later, you will be preparing presentations. Recently, I have had the opportunity to make a presentation. And, and the beauty that I found out is that now PowerPoint allows you, and by the way, I don't, I have no uh, link to PowerPoint, but it now it basically allows you to recommend ways to create layouts and um, uh, you know rearrange your text and images, all completely automated, creating very nice uh, uh, presentations, all automated. And the time that it takes to create a presentation, basically to me went down from five, six hours. Uh, you know, when you want to have something that is really nice to an hour and a half to create a nice looking uh, presentation. So here we're in presence of a situation where even small elements of AI are not substituting the human being, but are gradually facilitating a job that is complex. It's the job of, uh, you know, communicating ideas. Uh, it's it's uh, an articulated job. So we're seeing that very repetitive type of uh, tasks, they are migrating towards machines and they are likely to be eliminated at the point. But when the job is composed of uh, a myriad of interactions with um, other human beings, but also multiple tasks that uh, are intertwined. There are so many uh, interdependencies that I would, I would say it's hard to imagine a machine to completely take over. And so that takes me to the conclusion, if you like, or the insight uh, of this video, which is basically what we're really seeing um, across the borders is an evolution from uh, jobs that are mundane to move towards the machines. This is happening today. And uh, the big opportunity is that, in my opinion, is in the so-called automation for the smart jobs. There is a tons of automations that we can be created for the smart jobs, like putting together a presentation, but go even farther than that. I believe that is uh, a tremendous opportunity for you as uh, a potential, if you like, uh, player in the sector, but also for the mankind more generally. So imagine if you can free a doctor from all the bureaucracy. Imagine if you could augment a, a surgeon by certain parts of the surgery that are very repetitive, eliminating almost errors to zero and have the surgeon concentrating only on those aspects where uh, there is a, a bigger need of human uh, cognition and the decision making and complex decision making. The same thing happens across the board. So this is the field where really the opportunity is in designing, connecting what the technology can do today or envisioning how you can modify the technology today to solve problems and envision products that nobody has thought of. And that's why some time ago I came up with this idea to design this course for people that are really interested to 
one understanding uh, how to harness AI to create something or to improve a process or simply to understand what type of uh, process to create so that they can buy the right uh, elements there in the marketplace and understand how these things work and you know source some of these elements from the marketplace. So this is a course that has been taken by quite a few people around the world at this point. We have a guy that is utilizing it to raise capital. We have other guys that instead have uh, utilized it to buy equipment, buy uh, type of software and creating processes. And uh, if you're interested, just take a look at inondemia.com. We're gonna post a link on this very video. And for the time being, I'll see you at the next time we talk. Okay, bye-bye.